I have tested and reviewed a lot of products. Some products were great, some products were okay, and some products were just But today I wanna share with you guys my favorite RV products. So let's get right into the list. So the first product we're going to cover today is the CarmTech 10 digit keyless entry RV door lock. Now, why is this for me the best of the best? There's a couple reasons. This door lock gives you 10 digits to choose from, not eight like most of the others. And the keypad lights up so it's easy to read at night. This door lock also gives you an additional lever that allows you to lock the handle from inside the RV. I haven't found a product on the market that gives you these options. And for the year and a half that I've had it installed, it has worked flawlessly. Everything on this lock is metal except the battery cover which really doesn't need to be metal but it's a very well built door lock. The key fobs can be programmed to control another lock if you have two doors on your rig. The keypad overlay hasn't cracked like some of the other brands do. You can easily adjust or completely disable the beep volume with a flick of a switch. They also allow you to turn off the receiver. So if you're going to use your keypad and not use your key fobs, turning off the receiver will help to increase battery life. Now this door lock is not going to fit in every single RV. There's a couple things you'll need to check first. I'll put a link down below in the video description to our video review, which covers all of that. This door lock has worked perfectly for us. And if I ever do have a problem with it, I know it's covered because it comes with a lifetime warranty. This is the Hughes Power Watchdog Surge Protector with EPO, which essentially means emergency power off. I believe everybody should have one of these in their RV. Now that's a pretty bold claim, but I think there is this misconception among the RV community that everybody should at least have a surge protector. Then if it's in the budget or you feel like getting a new toy for the RV, go ahead and pick up an EMS unit. And this is completely backwards thinking. Voltage and amperage issues have the potential to damage your RV's electrical system, your appliances, and even cause a fire. And here's the thing, those issues are much more common than power surges. So you really should be at a minimum protecting your RV from the issues you're gonna have most often. Power pedestals at campgrounds should never be something you bet on. They may be wired incorrectly, they may be old and underserviced, and as breakers constantly flip, they become unreliable and they should be replaced. When this happens, the circuit breaker may not pop when the amperage exceeds its rating. If you've ever seen singeing on your power terminals, this may have been a reason why. Power pedestals also rely on a grid that becomes exhausted as more people are camping and more air conditioners are running. As campground power demand increases, voltage may decrease, and that's just as bad for your RV as excessive voltage. This bad boy will protect your RV from things like reverse polarity, high or low voltage, or high or low amperage by shutting off the power to your RV. And all of this can be monitored through the Hughes app, which connects via Bluetooth to your EMS and provides real-time stats and alerts. This is what I use to protect my RV. It's got a limited lifetime warranty, and Hughes is the only company to offer a replacement surge module. So if you do have a surge, you don't have to replace the whole EMS. You just put the surge module in and you're as good as new. Now this is the 30 amp version because we have a 30 amp trailer, but I'll put both the 30 amp and 50 amp version links down below. So if you're enjoying or learning something from this video, please let us know by clicking that like button down below, leaving us a comment, and we hope that you consider subscribing. Now let's get back to the video. As RVers, I think we all have the same dilemma. We wanna carry as many tools and supplies as possible, but we have limited space and limited weight capacity. And I can honestly say, Bowshield T9 has been a game changer for us. I didn't even know this stuff existed a couple years ago. Now they keep the recipe under lock and key, but it's not silicone or Teflon based. There's also no fluorocarbons and there's no acetone in this product either. How this product works is once it's applied, it will remove any previously applied lubricants, including old T9. It then works as a lubricant and a water displacement tool. It will then dry to a waxy waterproof consistency, which will also prevent rust. And like a dry lube, it won't attract dirt and dust. So you can use this on extra chocks and stabilizer jacks, awning hardware, hitches, door and step hinges, and slide mechanisms. It can also be used on your tow vehicle, in your home, and on your bike or e-bike chains, cassettes, and derailers. It's safe on paint, plastic, fiberglass, vinyl, and rubber, so any overspray that you get on your RV can be safely removed, and the shelf life on T9 is indefinite. Bowshield T9 is good enough on its own to be on my best of the best list, but the fact that it eliminates the need to carry a bunch of different products and it cuts down on maintenance time makes this a no-brainer for RVers. You wanna say hello? This is Gigi, she travels with us everywhere, and if you also travel with pets, 
You may have, oh, you wanna get down? Okay. You may have looked at getting one of those fences that you can put up outside your campsite. There are a million of these things out there. We've tried a few. I never liked any of them. And all I really wanted was something simple. First, I needed to be able to put it up and down quickly. Second, I needed a gate that worked properly. And third, I needed it to be lightweight and take up as little space as possible. So we tried the FXW dog playpen. Now we got the 16 panel kit. Each panel is 32 inches high and just shy of 27 inches wide. Two of the panels in this kit are gates. And it also comes with ground stakes that connect the panels together. Now they do make a lot of different sizes and options, so you should have no problem finding a kit that works perfectly for you. The top of the stake has a ball that makes it easy to push into the ground without hurting your hand, but if the campsite ground is a little tough, you can use a rubber mallet to drive the stakes further into the ground. Now if you're on a concrete pad, this will still work. You just drop the stakes down through the guides. You do not need to drive the stakes into the ground for the fence to stand. And this is really nice because you can use the fence on the inside of the RV if you're going out for the day and you want to keep your pups confined to a specific area. And this fence literally takes a couple minutes to put up. I don't think it's going to get any easier than this. The gate latch is gravity loaded and works well. Plus I can fit all 16 panels under my bed with room to spare. We can sit outside with Gigi and not have to keep her on a leash. Plus we don't have to worry about her getting too close to the campfire. They also make dedicated indoor kits. Panels are available in other colors and sizes, all the way from 24 inch, 32 inch, 40 inch, and recently a 50 inch height. If you wanna use the outdoor kit on the inside of your RV, you can pick up these floor protectors that just slide onto the bottom of the stakes. Also available are bumpers so you can put the fence against your RV and wall anchors so you can mount the fence directly to the RV or a solid structure. You can also pick up carrying straps and cases to make moving these around a little easier. So why is this the best of the best? For us, it works. It goes up easy, it's sturdy, it comes down easy, doesn't take up a lot of room, and they're lightweight. It's just a simple product that works and I would recommend this to anyone who RVs with pets. The next item on today's list is not a mechanical or an electrical product, but I wanted to mention it today because it's a product that you do not want to fail. I've been using the same Camco Rhino Flex sewer hose since we bought the RV all the way back in 2017. The hose has held up perfectly. My concern, however, was were the fittings going to start to leak over time? Seven years later, no problems, no leaks. Now Camco does make some higher end sewer hoses that you can drive a car over. But guys, just don't drive your car over your sewer hose. If you want a hose that is dependable, go with the Camco RhinoFlex 20 foot sewer hose kit. It will last a long time. And speaking of Camco, they just partnered up with RV Snap Pads. So you can now purchase the Camco Easy Lift Stabilizer Jacks with the new RV Snap Jacks as a complete packaged kit. I'll put a link below to camcooutdoors.com for more information. I've been using the TireMinder A1 AS system for a while now, and it has exceeded my expectations. I can see the temperature and pressure changes as I'm driving. I have never had to reset or relearn the sensors, and I've never had a signal loss. You don't even need to get the A1 AS system. You can go with a different system from TireMinder, and it's still going to give you all the information that you need. So with TireMinder, pressure readings are gonna tell you slow leaks, rapid leaks, blowouts, and you're gonna be able to monitor the temperature of your tires. TPMS systems are important. They can save your life and a lot of unnecessary damage on your RV. I chose TireMinder because it's a brand that I can trust. Micro Air does not have a lot of competition in the RV thermostat market, but that doesn't mean they got lazy with the Easy Touch thermostat. This gem of an RV product allows you to control your thermostat remotely through either a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. It's completely programmable. You can set schedules to turn the AC or furnace on. You can check into the thermostat from your phone to see your inside temperature, but you can also program the thermostat to send you alerts if the temperature inside the RV rises or falls below a certain threshold that you can set. Now I am a part-time RVer, but I'm logging into this thermostat every day on my phone to get the RV to temperature so I could film videos for the channel. Remote operation has worked every single time and I've never had to reset this thermostat. You can set it so the screen turns completely off at night so you don't have extra light in your bedroom. And a really, really nice feature they offer with this thermostat is the ability to set a range. If the temperature inside the RV exceeds, let's say 75 degrees, the air conditioning will turn on. 
and you can also set it so that if it falls below, let's say 60 degrees, the heat will turn on. We actually use this feature a lot here in Pennsylvania during the fall when temperatures are low at night, but can be a little higher during the day. And despite the lack of competition, MicroAir is always working. They're constantly bringing new thermostats to the market and they're issuing firmware updates as needed. Now, a little while back, we did create an installation and review video for this thermostat. I'll put a link down below if you wanna see all of its capabilities. This thermostat is not the best of the best because nobody has a product that comes close. It's simply the best because it has a lot of options and it works.